Happy Friday out there, folks. This is Darius Dell here to present our Macro Minute for Friday, March 11, 2022. Starting with markets, we have stocks up this morning, commodities up, crypto up, dollar flat, global bond yields up. Big news this morning, IFX cited Russia's uh, President Vladimir Putin as saying talks with Ukraine have been positive. Uh, we'll see if he's uh, BSing us. Uh, big movers this morning in markets, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, up 2% apiece, Stack, Germany Stax Index up 3% uh, on the macro front. Uh, yesterday's February CPI print leaves the Fed very much on track to tighten monetary policy into the trending cyclical slowdown we highlighted yesterday. Powell's response to Senator Shelby's grilling uh, on inflation last week confirms as much. I hope history will record that the answer to your question is yes, may go down as Powell's uh, draggy whatever it takes moment, uh, but only with the opposite effect on the economy and asset markets. Uh, with war headline risk ruling the day now, investors risk covering shorts and swimming naked into a very precarious medium-term growth inflation and policy regime. Uh, so unpacking the CPI data, and as you know, we've been studying the inflation statistics on a seasonally adjusted annualized basis, month over month seasonally adjusted annualized basis. Uh, we think that's where all the action is as it relates to uh, the market's reaction function um, in terms of anticipating the Fed's reaction function. So so getting into the, those statistics, so headline CPI came in a, at a 10% SAR, that's the fastest pace we've seen since October. Uh, food CPI at a 13% SAR. That's the fastest pace we've seen since April of 2020. Uh, energy CPR, energy CPI, 51% SAR is the fastest pace since October. And then we had core CPI that actually slowed to 6.2% uh, on a seasonally just annualized basis. That's the slowest point we've seen since September 21. Core goods, core services uh, both slowed as well. Um, shelter CPI ticked up to 6.4% on a SAR basis. That's the fastest pace we've seen since October uh, of 2005. Uh, median CPI, again, barely backed off the all-time high. Um, we're at 6.5% on a SAR basis. Uh, it's the second fastest pace of all time. So clearly still having a, a buildup of broad-based inflation momentum in the economy. And then taking it to the chart here. So this is something that should get the Fed very concerned. Um, both median CPI and sticky CPI, in our opinion, are why the Fed uh, should be extremely concerned because it's clearly not just about energy and food prices. But again, going to this chart, so the blue line shows the month-on-month -month annualized percentage change. The red line shows the year-on-year, 12-month change. Um, as you can see, you know, you typically have to have a breakdown of the short-term momentum in order to have a breakdown in the longer-term momentum. And as you can see by the chart, we are nowhere near having that uh, that that sort of turned down. So the, the probability that sticky CPI continues to accelerate um, is it, high. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a real problem, and it tells you the Fed uh, may actually surprise the market's expectations for how tight monetary policy is likely to get over the medium term. So stay tuned with that, for that. Uh, with respect to today's probable range setups, getting an overbought signal in the U.S. dollar, Japanese yen, um, uh, S&P 500, that's still bearish from the perspective of our volatility, just momentum signal with 9.2% downside in its probable range versus 2.5% of upside. WTI, uh, neutral VAMs, um, minus 21% of downside versus 16% of upside. Uh, Bloomberg Dollar Index bullish fams minus 1.5% of downside versus 1.1% of upside. Uh, Ten-year Treasury yield uh, minus 23 basis points of downside versus 22 basis points of upside. That's also still bullish fams. Uh, Bitcoin still bearish fams minus 19% of downside versus 7% of upside. Ethereum uh, bearish fams minus 19% of downside versus 9% of upside. And then lastly, gold neutral vamps uh, minus 6% of downside versus 4% of upside. So with that, Darius Dell presenting our macro minute for Friday, March 11, 2022. Uh, everyone have a uh, best of luck out there and have a great weekend.